from your experience when you try to find those causes what are some of the the causes that the reasons people get cancer there are things that we can control others that we cannot uh, genetic loads for example are one of them uh, we know that we have uh, genes that are trying to protect us and others that are trying to actually induce changes in in normal cells to change the whole architecture we can say of, of their genetic makeup cancer turning them into malignant cells uh, there are people for example that do not have uh, a particular gene called the p53 this one allows uh, our immune system to be able to recognize the presence of the abnormal DNA so it can be given to other genes that will try to repair that and if successfully done then it goes you know in, in a normal function on the other hand if that is not possible uh, then you have to get rid of it uh, discard it the apoptosis uh, uh, what it's called it's like if you had a factory that you were producing engines, car engines for example, and you have uh, parts coming from different suppliers and you have your quality control people and uh, they overlook, they make sure that all those parts are in good shape so they go into the assembly line and you end up with an engine that will run for the time that it's supposed to. On the other hand, suppose that your quality control people went to a party the night before, they got drunk and they came back to work the follow they come back to, to work the following morning all hangover and uh, they can't even move because of how sick they are uh, they see abnormal parts coming in but they don't really make the effort to to take them away and have them repaired that is what is called the wild type of the p53 genes they have the ability to recognize the presence of that abnormal DNA but cannot act upon it. So in the end the abscess off or the wild type form of the P53 will end up the same. Uh, it will end up on a, on a machine, on a, on a car engine that will break down much sooner than it was supposed to.